Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. We're just more than one month away from the May primary and several people are running to represent Indiana's 9th District. Some of the candidates discussed the country's health care challenges during a forum last night in Bloomington. Democrats Rob Chatlos, Liz Watson, Dan Cannon, and Republican James Dean Allspach participated. Incumbent Republican Trey Hollingsworth was noticeably absent. He declined an invitation to attend. And early voting for the May 8th primary is already underway. It started today, and Hoosiers also have the option of voting by mail with an absentee ballot. The deadline to vote absentee is noon on May 7th. Hoosiers will elect one U.S. Senator, all nine U.S. Representatives, as well as several statewide and local offices in November. A new type of synthetic marijuana is causing severe and sometimes life-threatening bleeding in neighboring states. While Indiana health officials haven't reported seeing those symptoms, they say people should seek medical attention if they start bleeding after using synthetic marijuana. In many cases, those drugs have been laced with rat poison. And a female barn owl who's recovering from alleged gunshot wounds will soon be set up on a date, so to speak. Officials at Wild Care Incorporated are hoping to create a love connection between her and a male owl who is also in rehab. They plan to slowly introduce the owls this week with the hope of eventually releasing them together in the wild. Barn owls are endangered in Indiana, so it can be hard for them to find mates. Now let's take a look at your weather forecast. Tonight we're going to have a low of 34 degrees, partly cloudy skies, but the sun could be out tomorrow, folks. That is the good news. Mostly sunny, a high of 61. A high of 72 and mostly sunny Thursday. Friday, partly sunny with a high of 75 degrees. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.